welcome back to my channel today i'll be showing you the differences between dodge and burn and frequency separation reduction technique personally i think it's all depending on one's personal taste and on the type of images one wants to create so therefore there isn't a right or wrong way of retouching i'll leave you guys to decide on which you prefer as i'll be editing the same image with two different styles that's frequency separation and dodge and burn so let's start with frequency separation so guys i'm gonna start by using one of my actions which i already uploaded on this channel i think on one of my videos but i'll put a link down below so you guys can download this um, action again i'm gonna start with the simple frequency separation i'm gonna use a radius of about uh 14 or 10 let me use 10 today so i'm gonna use 10 so i could have more details on the shots here afterwards i'm gonna make sure i'm on current layer while using the clone stamp tool i'll make sure i'm using i'm on current layer not current and below so because current layer then i'm gonna start circling the blemishes and make sure most of the blemishes are gone i'm gonna speed this up for you guys Alright, afterwards, right now, I'm going to go to my mixer brush tool. I'm going to select my mixer brush tool and make sure all my settings are about 30 30. You guys will copy this setting up here and make sure you guys use the same thing to have the kind of like images I produce. So I'm going to use my mixer brush tool and start smoothing the skin this time. I'm going to speed this up because I have other tutorials right here that actually goes into details on how to do frequency separation. You guys could like, um, I'm going to put the link up above or a tag so you guys could watch that video in case you don't have to be someone better to help me with this comparison. I'm done doing my frequency separation, like normal frequency separation, and I do my global dodge and burning. So this is just for me to like um, fix some of the patches I can see on the model skin or the subject skin, because your frequency separation won't just fix everything for you. You just have to, you have to like put some highlights and some shadows, just how makeup artists and the rest do their stuff. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So I create the black and white layer and the curves layer. The curves layer is just to darken the black and white layer and the reason why I do this is for me to be able to see the patches clearly. Then afterwards I'm going to start dodging and burning the image normal global dot global dodge and burn. And yes the before and after of the frequency separation. Let's jump into dodge and burn mode of retouching. I've done a video about doing dodge and burn retouching. In case you haven't seen that video, I'm going to put a link down below so you could follow the link and watch the video. I'm going to click on this action right here, which I downloaded. I'm going to do a negative feel for my dodge and burn. And let's go right into it. Yeah. Firstly, I'm going to start by removing the blemishes on her face, which I'm going to create a new layer an empty layer then i'll use my clone stamp tool and this time it's going to be on current and below i'm going to click on the blemish there are different ways you guys could do this right here but i could decide to use a clone stamp tool i could decide i could decide to use a spot healing brush or a healing brush just to fix the blemishes right now before i proceed into my dodge and burn if i need to like finish the image real quick i'm not going to like um I, i'm not going for a eye hand type of like image i could print three so i'll just get my work done real quick but if i need to like spend time and go into like go high hand and then i use about a flow of one for you to be able to dodge using this invert check you need to use you need to dodge the white parts or the white patches on your subject and you need to burn the dark patches on your subject that's the way you do this dodge and burn with the invert check layer on so that's what i'm going to do like you can see right here there's a white patch here i'm going to dodge that white part to make it look same as the other part 
So this is quite easy. I think I enjoy doing this better because it reveals all of the blemishes and the rest why I have to paint. So anyway, you see the white patches where you think it's not meant to be. You use the dodge. You use the dodge on it. Then where you see a black patch, you use a burn. I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to speed this up. So I'll waste you guys time. If you're going to use the dodge, okay. if you're going to use a dodge on the dark parts, that means you want to take out the white patches in between the dark area. I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to say. So, if you don't, you guys just comment below. So I'll take more time out to explain how this works. So after when I'm done with the normal the micro dodge and burn, because the way you do dodge and burn, you need to go really close to your subject, then you go midway to your subject, then you go out, you fix all the blemishes and make all the skin look good. So um the way the way the dodge and burn works is like really nice because I feel it's gonna give more details in your pictures and your pictures will look um plasticky. Um anyways um I'm gonna speed up this part too so I don't waste nobody's time. So yes, yeah, you can see the before and after of this right now. This is with the dodge and burn. This is the finished product of both the frequency separation and the dodge and burn. Which do you guys think is dodge and burn and frequency separation? I'm gonna leave you guys to decide A or B. Anyways, A is the frequency separation with dodge and technique, and B is the dodge and burn. So guys, you can see there is no big difference. Just like the dodge and burn with dodge and technique, there is more detail. While on the frequency separation, it looks more airbrushed. But I will sure use the frequency separation for a 3 quarter to a full length image while the dodge and burn retouching for a close up portrait or a beauty image. Thanks for watching, you kindly subscribe and turn on the notification icon to get notified when I 